On Earth Day, NASA celebrated by releasing some spectacular high-definition photos of the Earth from 220 miles up. The International Space Station shot these photos. On this Earth Day evening, we have a special look tonight at the whole Earth from space. One feature stands out above all, and that's water. Oceans cover two-thirds of the planet's surface, as we're all taught in school. They play a vital role in protecting against climate change, absorbing air pollution like a giant sponge. But the oceans are being overwhelmed, we are told, and that's causing a sea change for the worse. It's part of our special series of reports during our company-wide NBC Universal Green Week. Correspondent Ian Williams has more from Tasmania off the coast of Australia. It's not something you can easily see but changes in the water are threatening the life of our oceans. They're becoming more acidic, their chemistry changing at a speed not seen for millions of years. The impact has already begun. This is not a matter for the future anymore. This is something that has already started to happen. It was the raw beauty of Tasmania that drew Will Howard to this remote corner of Australia. Let's see if we can get a cut on this where he and fellow New Yorker Ron Thresher are on the front line of disturbing new research. It's an early warning indication that, yeah, it really is a serious problem. The oceans absorb around half the carbon dioxide pumped into the atmosphere, and the cold waters of the Southern Ocean are the perfect laboratory, since the chemistry's changing here most quickly. And here's where we're keeping the samples that we've been collecting. Howard has found telltale evidence from tiny sea snails the size of a grain of sand. These organisms are the base of the marine food webs and what happens to them ultimately reverberates throughout the ecosystem right up to whales, penguins and a lot of the kind of organisms that we're used to seeing. The snail's shell weight has fallen by up to half, their ability to make shells crippled by the growing acidity of the water. There's a whole range of organisms which depend on this shell-making ability. And critically, since the shells are carbon absorbers, the world loses a vital buffer against climate change. The scientists have been surprised and alarmed by their findings. The oceans here host an extraordinarily rich ecosystem it may be more vulnerable than anybody imagined. And you can see the effects of the acidification already. You can see how fragile they are. They're just sort of... They're flaking just, away. They're flaking away, that's right. From coral samples, Thresher's trying to predict the impact on that wider system. Reefs are vital habitats for thousands of fish. An unmanned submarine obtained the first coral samples from highly acidic water near the Antarctic shelf, deep beneath the Southern Ocean. It'll allow us to forecast ultimate, the ultimate fate of these things. It's high-stakes research, the ocean equivalent of the canary in the mine, an alarming warning of an ecosystem under threat. Ian Williams, NBC News, Tasmania.